Don't burn your best spots. This is the topic here for episode two of 30 Days of Whitetails. This is such a critical thing. And remember, we're looking at a 30 day window. So right now we're at that first week, which I'm gonna to refer to as the pre-pre-rut. Okay, here in the Midwest, Halloween week historically is a good pre-rut week. We're in front of that. This is an easy time to get excited. You've got the first cold weather coming in, crops are coming out. You might see more deer if you're driving around looking or friends may be spotting more deer because crops are coming out, leaves are coming down, they're able to see better, but that doesn't mean it's the prime time. So in these weeks leading up to the pre-rut, I like to hunt the fringes, okay? If we've got a place where our best spot is here, I'm gonna hunt everywhere except there and I wanna be able to observe into that. This is actually an awesome spot right here. It's right on the corner of the property. I'm able to actually look back across this big CRP field into some heavy timber where historically it's a bedding area and a rut area. When things are happening, it is good. But if things aren't happening, then you're going in there and coming out when the big bucks aren't on their feet yet. It's not, they're not day walkers yet, okay? So what I'm here to tell you is when it's not quite time yet, don't burn out your best spots find a spot that's on a perimeter or on an edge. In this case, from this blind, I'm able to overlook a really big picked cornfield that then at the back end of that is an area where once the rut is going, a lot of activity happens. It's the densest part of this place. If I go in there right now, just because I'm in the mood to hunt, doesn't mean it's gonna give me the best results. So I've got this spot right here that allows me to contain my scent, but look hundreds of yards that way and hundreds of yards behind me into the thick bedding and the rut area. So once things start to develop, well now I know or I've seen and actually confirmed that that's happening in my area and now I can make a move. Here's a perfect example. This was actually a spot when Christian Berg from Peterson's Bow Hunting drew a Iowa tag. We came, he was a little bit at the front end of the rut and he asked me if that'd be okay. And I said, yeah, that'll be okay. We're gonna hunt observation stands. We're gonna hunt the perimeter. We're gonna play it smart. We're not gonna burn our good stuff until we know it's time to go in. And what happened was after a few hunts, from this location, we actually saw a doe with a mature big buck behind her in the last 45 minutes of daylight one evening. So the next morning, we went into that area. We knew he was up. He was following a doe around. He was on his feet in the daylight. We went into that area, and lo and behold, he ended up coming in, checking one of his scrapes during this pre-pre-rut, which is going to happen checked his scrapes, made his little scrape line, and we had a stand that was right on a historic scrape and rub line so that he was able to get a chip shot right under the stand. Such a critical thing, something that honestly took me decades to actually be able to be patient and not rush in to the prime spot until it was ready, even though I'm ready, doesn't mean those big bucks are ready. Save your best spots for when the time's right. We're close, we're just not there yet. Right now, if you wanna go out, find a place where you can see a lot of things happening in the areas that you wanna be here coming up in these next weeks.